Hi, I'm Melissa Wilson. And I'm Chrissy Smotterman. And we're from the University of Minnesota Extension. And today we're here to show you how to sample your manure on your small farm. One of the important aspects of manure management is going to be knowing how, what the nutrient content is. This can help you determine what rates you'll want to apply on your pastures or your fields and help you keep from underapplying or overapplying. There are tables like the one shown here with estimated manure nutrient content, so why do you need to sample your manure? We call those tables book values and advise against using them since actual values can vary widely from a variety of factors such as storage facility, bedding, and diet. And being as accurate as possible is the key to meet crop and pasture needs and reduce pollution risk. This graphic shows how variable manure sampling results can be within and between species. This information was provided to us by several commercial manure testing labs in Minnesota, which gave us solid manure data from 2012 to 2017. Along the bottom of the graphic, you can see several different species groups, including poultry, goats, swine, horses, and sheep. Along the left of the graphic, on the y-axis, you'll see the nutrient content, and it's in pounds of nutrient per ton of manure, and it ranges from 0 to 100. The circles represent the average amount of each nutrient found in the manure. The bars show the minimum and maximum values found to illustrate the variability. The dark red circle shows the amount of total nitrogen. The lighter red shows the amount of ammonium, which is a specific form of nitrogen that's used by plants. The yellow shows the amount of phosphate, and the black shows the amount of potash or potassium. Overall, each species has quite a bit of variability in their nutrient content. Some of this has to do with the number of samples in the graphic, however. Along the bottom, you'll see the number of samples received in this data set. But the moral of the story is get your manure sampled and do not rely on book values. This will be a much more accurate way for determining how much manure you want to apply to your land. For large operations, we recommend sampling manure at application right off the spreader to get the best estimate of what is actually being applied. The main drawback with that is you won't get results back until after application. For small farms with solid manure, sampling from the stockpile before application is acceptable since the amount of manure is low and less likely to be highly variable compared to large volumes of manure. To sample solid manure from a stockpile, you'll need a shovel or manure probe, a clean plastic bucket, and well-labeled sample bags. To begin, Use the shovel or probe to dig out a small amount of manure from the stockpile. Try to avoid sampling from the edges or crust and try to vary the amount of bedding in the sample. Then put the manure in the plastic bucket. Once you have all your samples in your bucket, mix them up really well. The more samples taken and the better you mix them together, the more accurate your results will be. Next, take a sample of the manure you mixed and place in a double bagged plastic sample bag. Make sure the bag is well labeled. Finally, freeze the sample before sending it to the testing lab. Do not leave the manure sample in a warm area because some of the manure nutrients will be converted to gas and lost. Here is a list of manure testing labs in Minnesota. Try to plan ahead with shipping so your sample doesn't sit in a delivery vehicle over the weekend. In conclusion, manure sampling will give you the nutrient content of your manure so you can make applications as accurate as possible. Properly taking a manure sample is key for accurate analysis. So remember to take many samples, mix them well, freeze the samples, and get them to the lab as soon as possible.